Well, over the years, Dr. Pettit has joined us here on the couch to talk about the good work that the Pettit Family Foundation is doing. The charity gives grants to organizations and programs to support education, people with chronic illnesses and those affected by violence, as he and his family were in the very worst possible way. Well, today, Dr. Pettit and his team, the Pettit Foundation, have asked Miss Connecticut to join us to talk about a program that's happening this weekend that the foundation is supporting. Bridget Oy is with us, Miss Connecticut. Hi, Bridget, how are hello, you? Hello, so glad to be here and very honored to be representing the Pettit Family Foundation yeah, today. that's really remarkable. Absolutely. You know, when you were named Miss Connecticut, I think what was exciting is people had known you from the science fair world and yes. STEM. <laughs> I mean, really being a great student and even at such a young age doing wonderful things with science. That's really your mission is to show that girls, um, uh, give girls more STEM opportunities. Yes, as a part of the Miss America program, I have the distinct honor of championing a social impact throughout my year. And as a STEM major myself, a recent graduate of the University of Connecticut, I fell in love with science and science exploration. And so as a woman in science, I know that the most important thing is to connect mentors with our younger generation so that our young women in STEM can grow to explore their careers and have great careers in STEM. So I'm, I'm here to help that and to promote great events like this one that's coming up. When you were going through your education, you know, were you, was it a positive thing to be involved with STEM or was it, you know, because when I was growing up, it was a different world. Certainly. Well, my mom is actually an engineer and she was one of two engineers in her class. Isn't that amazing? So I know that she was someone who overcame those, those struggles and that adversary. I had a very positive experience. Uh, like we were talking about, I got involved with the Connecticut State Science Fair and then I went on to international and national uh, science fairs with my inventions. So I had such a positive experience and so my goal now as someone who has been through that and had such a great experience is to turn around and hope those young women have have an even better experience than mm. I did. Tell us a little bit about the event and how young women are getting involved this weekend. I have the distinct honor of being a panelist at our Soar, Soar to the Stars Girls in STEM event. It'll be at the Hartford Convention Center this Saturday. It is a closed event now, but mm. it is involving 215 young women between the ages of 12 to 18. They will all be here and there will be a panel of myself, a astronaut, an IT director wow. at Aetna. We have a panels where these young women will be able to ask us questions and we'll be able to give them resources and answers about our own experiences, hopefully to inspire even just one student in that uh, building so that they, they know that there's a great career out there for I'm them. a huge proponent of the pageant system. I think it's a wonderful organization. Can I you love it too. Tell us a little bit of how you got involved with <laughs> Surely, well, the Miss America program is a scholarship organization, mm -hmm. and as a college student, I was a recipient of a lot of scholarships and was able to graduate from college debt-free, but I'm well, attending medical remarkable. school. I'm looking on towards medical school, and now with the $30,000 that I've won as being a part of the pageants, I will be able to pay for my first year of medical school completely, uh, depending on where I go. So for young women, I think that it's another avenue through which you can express yourself, grow in your interview skills, in your talent, in what you bring to the table, in your social impact, in your community service, and also win some incredible scholarship dollars. So that's why I joined, and the community service and the ability to champion what I'm doing now has just been the greatest reward. So I know the event is closed right now, but if, if young women are watching and thinking, gosh, I really want to get on the STEM path, I'm not exactly sure the yes. best route to go, what would your advice be? Reach out to me. This is all that I'm doing this year. I am doing a full school tour. You can follow me on my social media at Miss America CT. I am letting young women know through my social media and different events what opportunities are out there for them. I'm partnering with many, many organizations, including the Space Foundation, um, and we're getting it out there and helping to make sure that our young students know. So come reach out to me, and I'm happy, more than happy, to give you the right path. I know you uh, went to some of these invention conventions. Yes. Do you remember what some of the things that you uh, went with? Oh, yes. So <laughs> one of my very fun inventions was I developed a tracheal implant uh, based on piezoelectricity, a material that when vibrated generates electricity. And I made a tracheal implant that when implanted inside the lungs would generate electricity from the wind 
in your windpipes. Oh my gosh. And that could renewably power a pacemaker. So pacemaker patients who have to have their battery recharged and replaced every five to seven years would have a renewable energy source within their own bodies. It's so that they wouldn't have to undergo surgery. <laughs> and just I, remarkable. <laughs> it's one of my very fun experiments and I actually got to continue that research on when I went to Yukon. They gave me a grant to continue my studies and it's just opened my eyes to the many resources and opportunities that are out there for young women like myself. Uh. So that's a simple tip is if you're watching and parents are wondering what can I do to get my girls more involved, just simply signing up for the science fair is a good place Absolutely. to start. Absolutely. Get started and I will say that all of my experiments and things that I did in grade school and in high school were in my very own garage. My garage turned into a laboratory. <laughs> my parents haven't been able to park their car. It's but that's, that's okay. okay. <laughs> that's okay. You can, you'll invent something else for them, I'm yes, sure. Yes, totally. Well, you're such an inspiration to Thank everyone. You. And it's such, such a delight to have you on the show. Thank you. The yeah, pleasure yeah. is all mine, and I'm, I'm so looking forward to the event. I am going to be starstruck when I'm sitting next to an astronaut. Yeah. You yeah, know, so terrific. I'm very excited. Thank, Thank you, you so Bridget. much. Thank you. To learn more about the Pettit Family Foundation, you can head to the PettitFamilyFoundation.org. All right, coming up tomorrow on Better, who is the world's most finicky cat? Morris, of yes. course. Take a look. Nine Lives presents Morris. The castle's almost finished, Your Majesty. Good. Reserve the dungeon for yourself. Here's the enchanted tower. This is her second childhood today. Hungry, Morris? Lower the drawbridge. I'm leaving. Don't be finicky. There's Nine Lives. Bark. The sea winds bring a message. Liver and chicken. Savory stew. Nine Lives savory stew. Mm. Nine Lives. Nutritious foods cats really like. Even Morris. Only fit for a king, Nine Lives. The original rescue cat turned spokes cat started doing ads 50 years ago. We're going to be catching up with the newest Morris tomorrow. I love those old commercials. Plus, I'm sharing my, uh, you're sharing your recent yeah. trip to the Big Apple. Absolutely. We're gonna, we went to the Real Simple Home, which is in Brooklyn, New York, to talk about how you can bring design elements into your own home with their inspiration. That and more tomorrow at 3. And we want to say a very, very special congratulations to Marnie Elliott, who is celebrating 25 years of being an awesome director here at Channel 3. Yay! Yay! We're so happy for you, Marnie. Congratulations. And 25 years more. Yes. All right, everyone. Hope you're having a great Wednesday. We'll see you right back here with an all-new show tomorrow. Dr. Oz is next.